Jack, I will not have a possessed man that talks to demons in my house. This is a man of the devil. Linda, the man is dying. What do you expect me to do? Jack, you may have lost your faith, but I have not lost mine. Oh, no. Linda, no. Linda, do not do this. Of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Linda. I cast thee out. Do not do demons. This. Be gone, Linda, demons. Go into your little demons. prayer room. Be Take gone. your little books with you. I, I don't care. Just stop this. To leave Just his stop body this right now, and Linda. And this house. Linda, I am I telling you for the all last time. The evil Linda, stop this right now. Come out of him. Linda, I am I not no fooling around. I have no fear of the lords of the. Cassidy! Linda, I'm not foolish! <laughs> Linda! He is not possessed! He's mentally insane! The world is not full of magic and evil spirits! It's full of crackpots and lunatics! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, okay? I'll take care of this, all right? I promise. There is no existence of mental illness, Jack, and it has been well documented and not refuted by psychiatric experts. Los Angeles, hello. Hi, Larry. Uh, Senator McCain, as a lifetime Democrat slash independent, you know, one of those millions of young supporters that you have inspired, where can I go, sir, if you don't put our country ahead of your party? If you don't, sir, um, with all the good that you've done in inspiring people like me, where am I going to go? I'm not going to participate. I'm not going to vote for George Bush. I think he's a puppet. I'm not going to vote for Al Gore. And this is coming from a Democrat and an independent. Sir, if you can't put our country ahead of the party, where do I go, sir? That was me on Larry King Live eight years ago when I had the chance to pose a question to Senator McCain. And basically I said, Mr. McCain, why won't you put our country ahead of your party and run against Bush? You know, the guy that slandered your family, your wife, and your little children. Now it's eight years later, and the Republican Party have a new presidential nominee. And what do you know? This guy is actually trying to pass himself off as John McCain. Yeah, right. Give me a break. This guy wants to make permanent George Bush's tax credits for the wealthiest families and the oil companies in America. Yeah, like John would stand for that. This guy actually wants to drill off American shores. Like John the environmentalist McCain would approve of something like that? I don't think so. This guy, probably the most famous veteran in Congress, yet this guy, since 2001, hasn't ever supported a single Veterans Bill of Rights bill since 2001. And you want to hear the most outlandish? This guy, the only seated serving senator to have ever been tortured in a real war, held captive for five years, yet this guy has never voted to outlaw the CIA whenever they want to torture one of their witnesses, detainees, or captives. Like John McCain would approve of America or Americans torturing their witnesses or captives? I don't think so. So to this guy trying to pass himself off as John McCain, I have one thing to say to you. Sir, I knew John McCain. I would have busted my butt and done anything I could to get him elected. John McCain never changed. John McCain had principles. John McCain never lied. He never lied. So you, sir, whomever you are, you're no John McCain. And sorry, buddy, but that's the real straight talk.
This year, this independent is voting Democratic for Obama and Biden. And that, my friends, is straight talk. Thank you. Thanks. My name's uh, JT, and I'm an alcoholic and an addict. Hey, JT. Hi, JT. I'm also a television writer, uh, which by default makes me a douchebag, but you probably realize that yourself in about a minute. <laughs> About 15 years ago, I moved from Jersey to Hollywood and I broke into the biz. It was a dream come true. I had the money, the beamer, the actor's girlfriend. But you know what the best part was? I had all the flake I needed to keep churning out that snappy dialogue for Corbin Bernstein. Drugs, alcohol, shit. That stuff practically comes with your writer's guilt card. And besides which, I was Hemingway, Aaron Sorkin, and Faulkner all rolled into one. Well, uh, things started falling apart, little by little. Until one day I missed a deadline on a Nash Bridges. Got my ass fired. Didn't work for 18 months. Unless, of course, you consider fucking up your life a full-time job. Exactly one year ago tonight, exactly, I got high for the last time. And I won't bore you with all the gory details, mainly because I don't remember many of them, but suffice it to say that it involved a large quantity of cocaine and, and several burly police officers. Good time. By the grace of God, I got myself uh, enrolled in a rehab program in Pennsylvania. And I won't lie to you, it wasn't easy. It was fucking tough at first. It still is. But with the help of some of the friends I met in that program, I got through it. Chris, where are you? Stand up. Hey, everybody. That's my man, Chris. <laughs> anyway, uh, tonight I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about taking personal inventory. Nobody has plain white bathrooms these days. Plain white's what we want. Well, 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 I don't even know if we have it anymore. Perhaps we could get it by special order. You'd want the deluxe model, of course. Deluxe model? What's that? It has a soap spray, automatic water cutoff, fragrance dispenser, oh. single levered faucet. Hey, now, buddy, all we want is your regulation white fixtures with the faucets that read hot and cold. It's none of my business, of course, but you realize it'll be obsolete as soon as it's installed. You're right. I am. It's none of your business. <laughs> I suppose you'll be naming him after your husband. Hey, this is great tasting coffee. I ran from place to place looking for the best price on a quality fan. I should have come to Howard's in the first place. The best. Okay, Nikki, show the sandwich and say, Lay's makes bologna best. Good sandwich. Yes, it's a good sandwich, but we want you to say, Lay's makes bologna best. Good sandwich. Okay, good sandwich. No, Lay's makes bologna best. <laughs> <laughs> Does my ass look fat? <laughs> that was cruel. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. <laughs> I'm a classically trained actor. Um, had the opportunity to study abroad in London, Young Vic Theater, we're talking, you know, Pirandello, Shakespeare, Shaw. And all this training really came in handy for my new day job, my role working for Disney. Our mateys and lassies, be sure to keep your hands inside the boat at all times. Whoever is next, you've got the job. You're kidding. You mean I 